Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my introduction to my A to C project pan. This is a year-long project pan that was created by Jessica for a beauty in baseball and Amanda from Makeup Junkie 80 or I think now she's Amanda D. And basically this project is very simple. You pick an item that corresponds to each letter of the alphabet. This is a year-long project pan and you're supposed to do um, monthly updates. I'm going to be doing it a little bit different though because there's so many products in here and I have other projects going on that I don't see myself making a ton of progress each month. So I think I'm going to be making them every other month. Anyway, let's just get started. For the letter A, I'm going with this eyeliner from Lancome. This is the Art Liner from Lancome. This is a liquid liner. This is brand new. I've never used it. It's a felt tip um, applicator. And that's the color right there. Very black, very matte. For the letter B, I just realized I went with another black liner. <laughs> this is the Benefits The Real Push-Up Liner. I love this liner. It doesn't have the best reviews on the Sephora website, but I am the exception, I guess. I love this eyeliner. And this is kind of um, like a rubbery applicator. You twist the bottom and the product comes out through this little like spongy applicator and then that's how you swipe it so i'm not going to open it just yet because like i said i'm already using another black liner from lancome so i'm going to use this one first and then once i'm done with this with that one i'll use this one for the letter c i am going with the cc cream from sephora this is the skin perfect cc cream sunscreen broad spectrum spf 20. Um, this is completely full that's why i have not marked it hopefully um, i can get my use out of this one and use it up this year for D is my uh, Dior Fluid Lipstick in the color Kiss Me. And this is what it looks like. I bought this because of Cherish here on, on Pretty Pistol 87. <laughs> I always get her number wrong. Uh, but anyway, she bought this. Um, I think she panned it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I bought it because of her. It doesn't look as good on me uh, as it does on her. Um, we have a completely different skin tone, so I'm guessing that's why. Um, but yes, I am hoping to use this one up. I bought it and I never used it just because it's Dior and it's pretty, but um, I'm ready to use it up. For the letter E, it's a product that you guys saw in my products I want to use up in 2018. And that is this eyeshadow from Smashbox from the Dual Exposure. That's where my E is coming from. And it's uh, this came in a, a Sephora play box a couple years ago. And that's what this shadow is looking like as of now. I finished that uh, in 2016. And I hit pan. I had it in a project pan back then, but I wasn't able to finish it. I just hit pan and this kind of got pushed aside. So I am, I want to get it out of my collection because I mean, it's just a little bit, doesn't have that much product and I don't want to just adding more space in my collection. For the letter F, I am going with a foundation primer from Laura Mercier. And uh, this is the, what is this called? Just a foundation primer. Um, this is brand new. I have not used it. As you guys can see, it still has a little... Um, sticker there on the bottom. So I hope this is a good product. I've had this for a while So I hope it, did, it hasn't gone bad. I hope. For G I'm going with this Laura Geller product. This is the balance, Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in the color medium. This is brand new. I've never used it. I bought this during a Sephora 21 Days of Beauty sale, but I bought it online. I bought the color medium uh, because usually that's my color in everything, but this is actually a little bit too dark for me. I'm gonna save this for the summer. That way I can wear it in the summer um, and hopefully I can finish in the, I mean, this is Texas. We have like 10 month long summer. <laughs> so hopefully I can get some use out of this um, when the time comes. H is another product that you guys would have seen in my makeup to use in 2018 and it's from Hourglass. Did I say H? Yes. Uh, and it's this um, ambient lighting powder in the color Dim Light. And this is basically brand new. I've never really used it. Um, I bought this and then I bought my two uh, ambient lighting palettes and I panned those two palettes in 2016 and I was kind of like, okay, I need a break from ambient lighting powders, uh, even though I still love them, but I wanted to use uh, my other, you know, show some love to my other products. Uh, but I think 20, so I took a break in 2017 from Hourglass powders, but I think I'm ready to use this up this year. For I, I am going with this Maybelline Instant H Rewind. This is a primer, uh, but I've used this. Actually, I started using it today. It was the first day that I used it. So basically this product is brand new. 
um, like I said I've only used it once so hopefully I know I have two face primers but I'm thinking two full-size prime well this one is not full-size so I think this is I think the full size is like 1.7 ounce and this is one ounce. So I don't think I should have a problem um, going through this primer as well. For Jay, I'm going with a lip gloss from Buxom in the color Jennifer. Uh, and it's this kind of like, what color is this? Like a purpley pink color. Um, this is a deluxe size sample, so I don't foresee myself having any trouble using this up. For K, I am going with a shadow stick from Mally. This is the in the color Dusk. So there's a K at the end. And it's this kind of like a pinky color. There's quite a bit of product in here. If that's all there's there. So I'm gonna have to start working on this now because these usually take me a long time to finish. For L, I'm going with a lip primer and this is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. This is brand new. I've never used it. Um, that's all the product that is in here. For the letter M, I'm going with a blush from Lancome and that is in the color A Plum. So again, the M in the name, and this is what it looks like. It's a deluxe size sample. It came in a gift with purchase um, kit, and that is the color right there. This, unfortunately, can you guys even see that? It doesn't have much pigmentation because this blush is super, super old. Um, but as you guys can see, that is kind of like a finger swatch, and it was a heavy finger swatch. So I don't foresee myself uh, having any trouble using this up. I think it's gonna go very, very fast because I'm gonna have to pack it in. For the letter N, I'm going with a product from NARS, and this is uh, a deluxe size sample from the, what is this called? The Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. This came in the Sephora Favorites kit, I think from 2016, so it's been a while since I used this. Um, I mean, since I bought this, so I need to get started on it. I am working on a couple of concealers. So this is a deluxe size sample, so hopefully this is not as deceiving and I'll be able to finish it right away. For the letter O, I have a mascara from Sephora and it's the Outrageous Mascara. I can show you guys because this is still wrapped in little plastic. Um, I am working on a um, another mascara right now. If you guys didn't know already, I tend to layer my mascara, so right now I have three open, so I don't wanna open this one until I use up like one or two of the ones that I'm using right now. For the letter P, I'm going with another cream shadow. I hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot here, but this is from Tarte in the color Sugar Plum, and it's this real pretty like dark plummy purple color, and that is the swatch right here. Um, this pencil is basically brand new. Let me show you guys. I didn't mark anything, but I mean, I'll mark it. So you guys can see the progress so there's a lot of product in here as well so hopefully i i really need to get started on these two cream shadows because um yeah i don't know if i'll be able to finish them for the letter q i'm going with a product from clinique um and this is i uh, kind of like a deluxe size samples of uh the chubby stick sculpting highlighter illuminating base that's a really long name um but that's what this looks like there's not a lot of product in here um, I'll give you guys a swatch. I swatched it already. Um, that's what it looks like with a heavy swatch, but then when you blend it out, it, it really gives you a, like a nice, um, glowy effect. <laughs> now you're gonna, you guys are gonna see a lot of liners, um, coming up, so please just bear with me. For the letter R, I went with an Urban Decay 24-7 lip liner in the color Rush. This is brand new. This is what it looks like. That is the color right there. I Sorry, I swatched it on top of the highlighter from Clinique. For the letter S, I'm going with a lip liner from Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in the color Sherbert. Uh, it's a lot of S's in here. <laughs> and this is one of the ones that you're supposed to like twist and it automatically, every time you open it, um, it has like a pointed tip. And that's the color right there. It's gonna be it's kind of like a pinky orangey color it's gonna be really nice for in the summer for the letter t i'm going with another urban decay 24 7 eyeliner i mean lip liner pencil in the color turn on and that is this color also brand new and in the swatch it's this color right here and then for the letter u i'm going for an, with another lip liner from urban decay and this is in the color deep it's this color right here very nudie brownish color for the letter V, I'm going with a product from Kat Von D, and this is a deluxe size sample of the tattoo liner. This, as you guys can see, um, this is still wrapped in the packaging, so I'm not gonna open it anytime soon. Once I finish the brown liner I'm working on, I'll go ahead and open this one. You guys can't see it because of the packaging or the lighting maybe, 
but this is a brown liquid liner so for the letter w i am going with another uh product from maybelline this is the instant h rewind there's w and rewind and this is a concealer in the color light um what this is brand new i haven't used it for the letter x i'm going with a product from buxom so i'm using the x in buxom and it's in the color mai tai this is a lip gloss this is a full size lip gloss it looks kind of like scary orange in the tube but once you swatch it it's very very pretty it's this one right here i'm thinking about pairing it up with this lip liner from smashbox the sherbert one and i think it's gonna look really pretty for why i'm going with a product from um ysl and this is the touche eclat concealer uh this came in a favorites kit from sephora i don't know if 2015 or 2016. it's been a while never used it i don't know why i've been holding on to it um so as you guys can see never been used and lastly i'm running out of breath i need a drink <laughs> i'm so thirsty not a, not like an alcoholic drink but like water to drink because my mouth is dry anyway uh the last one is z and i am going with this the cutest lip balm ever can we just take a moment and admire this packaging this is so cute this is from the brand dino plants and it's spelled with a z at the end uh, i wish my phone would focus anyway but that's what it is and this is a number two beach jam and that's the color right there very very pretty I, I hope you guys can see i already have a dip going on here so hopefully i can use this up by the end of the year it smells really good oh my god those are my 26 products that i picked up for this project this is going to be a little bit challenging because 20 out of the 26 are full size so <sighs> And you have to also take into consideration that I have other project pans going on. So I don't know. We'll see if I'll be successful. The good thing is that this is uh, a year long project. So I'm going to try very, very hard to um, have good progress for every time I do an update. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. All the information will be in the description box. And if you guys are doing this project too, good luck to you. Good luck to us all. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.